Hey guys, today I'm going to show you something very interesting. So this is Surge SDXL Workflow version 3.4 for Confi UI. So we can actually use this for text to image, image to image, in painting, and it's basically everything in one powerful workflow. Yes, it's a very amazing workflow. So you can download this at Civit AI or at GitHub, or you can also just basically get it here in your UI manager. So if you click this one, you will be able to see install custom nodes. Once you open that one, you will be able to search it here. So if you type search, you click search. There you go. You can also download it here. So this is something that is very interesting, actually, because it's an all in one powerful workflow. So we're going to discuss each one of them. So, for example, I'm going to try loading mine first. So I'm just going to drag basically and drop it here. All right, so this is how it looks. And if you're going to scroll out, you will be able to see how crazy and complicated this looks. So if you're going to zoom it, this part, for example, there are so many things happening here, but don't worry, we're not going to discuss each one of them. So we're just going to focus on this workflow here. So this is where we are going to do our main thing. And the good thing about this is that we cannot move it. So take a look. So I can't move it. So I think this is really good so that we don't confuse ourselves. So basically, this is what we are going to do. So we're going to scroll to miss parameters. And here you will be able to see three operation modes. We have text to image, image to image and in painting. Now, if we are going to scroll out here, we will be able to see a lot of prompts here. We have actually five and that's amazing. So we have our main prompts here, the green one. We have our secondary prompt. We have the style prompt the negative prompt and then negative style prompt. Now, in order for us to understand all of them, we are going to scroll in here. So this is the workflow information and this is how the prompts function. So for example, the main prompt, the subject of the image in a natural language. So this is natural language. You can type there in the sentence form, for example, or in a phrase. And then we have a secondary prompt. Here it is a bit different. So it's a keyword or tag list version of the main prompt. Basically the same thing. However, it is now in a tag list. So for example, a cat with a hat in a grass field for the main prompt. For the second prompt, it becomes cat with hat in grass field so there is a comma here so that's a difference then we also have style and reference prompt so this is interesting because now we can have a description of style of the image that we want for example here this is oil painting so in the style of you can type an artist name and then vibrant color so that's really an interesting example for the negative prompt it's basically the same thing um, subjects that should not appear in the image we have jpeg artifacts noise for example and that's what we're going to be using for later for a negative style prompt styles and concepts that should not be used to generate the image we have photograph or it could be an animated something like that and here in simple prompt mode only the main and negative prompts are used in three prompts prompt mode it's main secondary and negative prompts so we have here for example uh, I think this is what he's talking about. So we have the main, the secondary, and the negative prompts being used here. And anyway, so let's try to talk first about text to image. So that's what we are going to do first. We're going to generate a little bit for text to image. Now, this time I'm going to try to do something. So this is uh, the one that I got from here. I'm just going to just basically recreate this one. So in order to come up with this image, I'm going to try to just copy this one. Oops. I'm going to open this in a new tab. All right, here. So I'm just going to basically do something like this. And we are going to focus on the subject. So again, for the subject focus, again, for the subject focus here, we're just going to talk about main and secondary prompts. So that's what we are going to do. So main and the secondary. And then I'm just going to copy this one so this is for our main and then this is for our secondary all right something like that 
now we are going to, yes all right there subject focus and then you can basically uh, change something for example this particular width and height so the width and height for this particular thing is i think 1024 so that's what we are not so we are not going to change that one so yeah that's basically it and then we can then hit q prompt or if you want you can also enable the upscale mode here so say for example if i'm going to do that say yes that's enabled the upscale and then for now we're just not going to need it uh, because it will take so much time in order to render a photo so yes we're going to click q prompt and then we're going to see ah sorry so yeah this is also something that i've made a mistake so this one if you see this sdxl vae you will have to click this one and change it to sdxl underscore vae so that's what we are going to do and then we're going to hit q again all right and now it is running so you see these two big screens here so this is where we are also going to be able to see the images that we are going to generate so this is really amazing because we will be able to zoom it out and basically see it in a big one all right but for now we're just going to take a look at this one and wait for a moment okay so this is the image that we generate so it's definitely something that a lot different than the first one here so this one it's more like a kind of like a power or something there but this one is more like hand drawn so this is pretty interesting <laughs> it has some kind of like sword in here or something I'm not sure what that is so yeah that's basically how you're going to do it now we can also change this one basically if we're going to add something here say for example if we're not going to focus on subjects and say for example we focus on three prompts and then we're going to add something again for three prompts if we're going to scroll down here we have the main secondary and the negative prompt so we're going to add something in the negative prompt uh, somewhere here we're going to try again the three prompts here and then we're going to add also all the other things so for example here instead of oil painting we're going to change it into a cinematic movie scene and then we don't want to have a jpeg artifacts and then for this one we're going to remove the anime style okay something like that so this time I think we should be able to come up with something that is a very unique and very interesting. So here we want to have like realistic movie scene also. But again, it's going to have more emphasis on the main prompt, secondary and the negative one. So let's try to generate once more and we should be able to see something very interesting. All right, so now we have generated an image and I think this one is just a lot more similar to this one. And it looks, yes, indeed, very cinematic, and I like it. <laughs> so that's basically what you're going to do. You just have to come down here and just basically repl replace the prompt style in order to get what you want. Now, we are done with text to image. We're going to go to image to image. So in this case, basically, what we're going to do is we're just we're going to just drag and drop here. Or you can also upload something in your uh, input folder already and then just basically replace it similar to that of me. So for example here, so I've generated this picture in the previous tutorial. If you want to try to see this or how this is done, you will be able to see it there. So basically, if I'm going to just replace this one here, right here in the operation mode, image to image, and then change the prompt style, I'll be able to get something very different. So for example here, I did something interesting for this. So this is the image. All right, there you go. So there was a mistake here. I cropped it, so I, I forgot to change uh, the height and the width earlier. So you should be able to, you should change the value. For example, here, if we have the width, so the width here is 768. I know it's 768 and the height is uh, 1024. And you should be able to get something like uh, this, except for the height. So yeah, as you can see, we made Johnny Depp a little bit older or a lot older. <laughs> so this is what we did earlier. Now, another thing that we are going to try is something that is interesting. So we are going to change the operation mode to in painting. And then we're going to go here and basically just change things here a little bit. So for example, in this case, I'm going to change the picture and I'm going to try to choose uh, this one. So still the same thing here. I'm going to use this one as well. Oops. There you go. 
So we're going to do that one. And then we're going to try to right click this one and click open mask in editor. And then here we're going to uh, zoom it in and we're going to change or we are basically going to mask or draw here. Okay, so basically I'm going to change the face and I'm going to click save node. And then this time I'm going to change also the prompt similar to what we have earlier. And I just want to see something like that. Uh, and I think it's going to be fun. All right, so we're going to change it here. And then this one. All right, there you go. And then for the Laura. Uh, okay, so Laura is there. This one. All right, there you go. And for the lower strength, you can adjust this one. So let's say, for example, uh, lower strength is around two. Okay, there you go. And apart from that, you can also change the face. So we're, I mean, we're going to change also the the width and the height. So for the width, we're going to change this one to seven six eight. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to continue. Let's see how this is going to be like. So we're going to click Q prompt. Okay, there you go. Uh, so as you can see here, there's a more thing going on in the face. So let's try to compare this one and also the original image, which was this one. Uh, let's try to check this image. All right. So there's more thing going on in the face. So this is our uh, reference image. And then this is the image that we have generated. Okay, there you go. You see, there's like pinkish something here. <laughs> so this is supposedly red but now it's pink and, and the lipsticks as well has totally changed so let's try to do a side-by-side -side comparison all right there you go okay uh there you go okay so things here that are going on for example the eyes take a look at the eyes and there's also like an, this the makeup down here and yeah something like that so that's what you're going to do with you when you're using in painting and yeah, that's basically how you are going to use it. Congratulations. Now we have learned basic information about the most advanced Comfy UI workflow for image to image, text to image, and in painting here in SDXL Comfy UI. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe to the video if you definitely enjoy it. And then comment down below if you have any questions about the video. Have a good day, everyone.